snowing like crazy outside, so there's nowhere to go today. <laughs> Yes, I haven't worked for them. Yes. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so I'm currently in college for a uh, hotel management and to be able to have the experience and the, you know the hands-on work through Disney you know they set the standards for how to handle your customers in the hotels and even in the parks so it's just it's the perfect way to gain that better knowledge on how to do that and also all the times that I've traveled to the parks I've always met the most wonderful and just caring people and I want to be able to give that back. I want to be the person in the park that the guests are going to interact with and you know I'm going to be able to you know give them that little bit more like inspiration to you know have a magical day and you know and, yeah. For my school, I, I, I want to be in the hotels. I'm not sure where exactly in the hotels I'm specifically looking for, but I know that's the feel. Because my school offers for hotels and for culinary, so I'm, I'm focusing on the hotel work. I've kind of been all over the place. My first job was at a bakery. I was pretty much the cashier, was the assigned job. But we did everything from, you know, stocking the, the shelves, um, filling shipments, cleaning. From there, I worked at Payless Shoe Source, which was similar, you know, stocking the shelves, helping the customers. I was in the children's aisle, so a lot of the time I would be trying the shoes on the children and, you know, making sure they fit properly and I also I would uh, I was called a key holder which basically I had the key to the front gate so I would open and close the store um, when the people will come for the cash deposits I was in charge of depositing the day's money to those people and now from there I am currently working at a barber shop I'm a receptionist and I take the appointments for customers coming in I sit them down I keep the store clean and I still, I handle the cash and I do the deposits at the end of the day to the bank. So. That's, I love being outdoors, so that doesn't bother me at all. Usually what, what I'll try to do is I'll put them in order from most important to, not necessarily least important, but just what needs to be done immediately. But I'll still, you know, jump back and forth and work on everything, but... There's always definitely the one task that needs to be done immediately and focused on. So that that's kind of similar to um, the barbershop that I'm at now because it's everybody's coming in for the same haircut. But for, you know, for um, the customers, you know, that's their first time there or their, you know, it's their first experience with everything. So you just, you have to stay positive and always bright with it to keep them satisfied. And there's always, you know, different ways to go about 
handling the same situation that still stays productive that, you know, even for yourself can make the task a little different, but it's the same job. Um, it's fine. I mean, it's something that you expect, you know, you're not going to be doing something all day and have nobody come up to you to ask you a question or, you know, even to come over and, you know, do you have, do you have the time or can you point me, can you tell me how to get to this location? It's just, it just comes with the job. I'm, I'm pretty much good with all the pace. Um, where I am, I have to keep refer uh, referencing back to my job right now. Where I am right now, on a regular day, we could have, you know, on a slow day, we could have maybe 100 customers come in for cuts. On a busy day, it could be 250 plus. So it's, I enjoy it a little more when there's more people because you're interacting with so many more different personalities that it's, you know, you get some, you know, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> um, I'm definitely comfortable in my own ability to accomplish things on my own, but I do also enjoy the group work because you get to see how someone else would accomplish the same task, and you know, you you cheat, you um you share your different ideas. So I'm I'm always open to group work. No, I don't drive. I don't have a license. I'm most interested in the concierge and hospitality because that's the field that I'm in for school. It's what I want to continue doing for the rest of my life. I enjoy the hands-on being able to help the customer and you know they're coming in for their vacation and they've spent so long deciding this is what I want to do for my vacation to be able to give them the satisfaction of the joy, you know, that that first impression that they're going to receive is through you. And, to you know, even if you're just giving them the, the room that they're going to be staying in for their vacation, you know, you still, you give them that extra, you know, yeah, that... I would definitely expect them to know their job. I mean, when if you're going there for the first time and you know nothing about the parks and you're looking for, you know, what's open this day, where can I go to for lunch? I, I would expect them to be able to guide me based on my uh, expectations of the park, like what I would tell them I'm interested. I would hope that they would be able to relate an itinerary that could help me. So what is there's a person in the lobby raising their voice and some someone besides them next to me is having trouble? Is that what that was? And I'm working with the family. Um, 
well, I would definitely see what's going on with the family in front of me first and make sure that they're situated. I would possibly, probably for the person raising their voice, I mean, I would probably see if I could find a manager or security that could help me to handle that properly. And for the person next to me, I would most likely personally help them accomplish uh, printing the room keys properly because that's something that I would know how to do. Uh, I've done presentations in front of my school classes, but never an actual speech, say, like on a stage to a, a large group. So, excuse me. Um, I would definitely be a little nervous at first, but I think once I get the hang of it, that I would be confident in being able to properly present the speech and be sure to... Uh, send the positive vibes to the guests that are enjoying themselves. Uh, yes, definitely. That's I've been doing that since I started working, so I'm, I'm definitely comfortable with that. Yes, that's fine. Well, I definitely know that safety is the biggest concern in those situations. So you definitely have to stay calm and just assess what's going on. And, you know, you, you need to evaluate where the emergency is, whether it's something that needs to be attended to if someone got hurt or if it's something where people need to be evacuated, what's the most effective way to get everybody out of the building. So. Um, with the resorts and restaurants, not too much. I mean, I stayed at the old Key West Resort, I believe it's called, um, for one week in 2002, but I don't really know so much about the rest of them. Like, I know a couple of the names of them, but that's about it. So, I would definitely greet them with a big smile, because that's, it's just what's known from the company, it's just the cheer that's coming from within everybody. And let them know that I'm here to help them. I want to understand, you know, what it is that they're looking for with checking in and or whether it's getting on a ride or at a restaurant and just, you know, be their friend, you know, as opposed to just being an employee that they're interacting with. You know, you want to make it feel like as if you know them already that, you know, it, it's just makes the uh, the atmosphere more calm. No, I have not. I mean, if, if conflicts were to arise, I mean, I would definitely, you know, sit down with them first and see if we could talk it through. And if it was to be something more serious than, uh, I guess, um, whoever the head of the building, I don't know how that works, whoever the head of the building is, we would go and talk it out with them to see if we could find a solution for it. Yes. My ears are pierced and I have no problem with taking the earrings off. And I do have um, a tattoo on my inner ankle. It's a black silhouette of Tinkerbell, actually. It's about two inches by one inch. So. Okay. 
okay? It's just that, and um, on the side on the side of my foot, there's a a scripted word. It's on the same foot. It's my right foot. Right inside ankle, and the word is on the outside of my foot. So that's about that's about a half inch high, and then the length of the foot. Yes. No, it's um, it's along the side of my foot. I don't know how many inches that. I mean, it, it's 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 a scripted word, so it's a half inch like high in height, but then it's the length of the foot. Yeah, a sock covers them with no problem. Yes. No, I live here. This is my residence. <laughs> Um, yes, I was actually um, interested in knowing a little bit more on how the um, the transportation system works. Like, is that 24 hour or does it stop at a certain time of night? And Yeah. Yeah, because I was just wondering if I'm put on like an say an overnight shift if the the bus is still running to okay. Oh okay. Yeah. And um other than the amount of time spent at Disney, is there really any more of a difference between the fall and the full advantage program? That's the only, okay. Okay, all right. Well, that, that was really all the concerns I had. I mean, everything else is pretty much on the website. So, yeah. Okay. Yes, thank you so much, Tiffany. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I gotta go shuffle now. <laughs> so, all right, you too, thank you. I'm gonna stop the video.